Hey guys, Tyler here with Blue Collar Customs. We're going to talk about the lighting we've done in the trailer and edit other uh, electrical components we got. We're going to start off with the exterior. These two lights here, they are all ran by a switch and by the reverse lights. Um, we got them ran to the switch to connect with these two other ones on the side. So all of them will be turned on and while the trailer is in motion or being towed, uh, those will be set to where it comes on within the reverse. Uh, we'll step inside. We got four of these lights here on the inside. About uh, 109 LEDs per bar linked up to all together on a switch. Um, let's do all the, the wires. So all of, a lot of it's hidden by the wood and stuff, but Got everything in wire loom, strapped up, all tight, everything's everything's nice. We try to hide as much as possible in the crevice down there. We really didn't want to mess with any of the shelving. So we kind of had to go around, you know, what we had to work with. Take this down. Here's a better shot there. And it goes back all the way. The interior and exterior lights are attached to the same uh, wire loom. It comes down right there. Goes all the way down. And into a little box here. This is a solar panel kit. So let's start with solar panel we mounted up there we got the wires coming through <laughs> trade off we've got our solar panel mounted up here we've got a little shield put on the front of it just to uh, avoid any kind of trees or anything like that that get uh, that'll hit it anything like that everything's all still a coned up Oh, I got my finger in the way. Everything's all siliconed up. That way you don't have to worry about water intrusion. Wire it up into the bottom. And then from there, everything runs into a set of switches. And if you want, Tyler, go ahead and flip on our exterior lights. We can get a little sneak peek of those. There's all of our exterior lights kicking on. All of that as we said these lights here they will work on a switch and they will work with the reverse lights on the trailer when they're being used so. then as far as our interior lights those are switched as well lights the trailer up real good got four sets of them they will definitely do what is needed to light everything up. All right, we'll talk a little more about the solar panel kit. Uh, we got the wires coming from up there, which is coming from the roof. That's coming up all nice and tidy. And we didn't really didn't want to cut any of the wires. So we could just roll them up, zip tie them and whatnot. And we, this charger came with the, uh, with the solar panel as a whole kit. We had to get a battery from uh, Advance Auto. We got two grounds coming off this battery. One's from the charger, one's going down underneath the trailer to the frame. So it's grounded to the whole trailer. The power, um, two, the same thing, two, two wires coming off the power charger and then straight to this fuse. So the main fuse is gonna trip way before anything else you know decides to fry or whatever the goes all in this box John you want to open that box <clears throat> we got a little latch underneath here everything comes through I know it's a lot really empty up here here but everything's ran in this this wire loom um, yeah basically got a main to the main shut off so coming from the fuse to the main shut off this controls everything and that that switch 
comes back up over to this fuse fuse panel so currently this top one is for the exterior lights the bottom one for the interior so they both ran off separate fuses try to keep things as safe as possible i'm rolling back up all the way around and goes back into that box into the box to the switches so that one's the exterior switch this one's interior this main switch turns everything off when both of them are light up they uh both the side and the back is on and if you hit it off or in the middle it's off everything's off and the downward position is basically your transport uh, option so when the vehicle or the trailer is in motion it will turn that off and that switch is also connected to the reverse wire going from the coming from the truck so the only time that lights will come on obviously when the truck backs up the turn that back on this switch here is obviously for the inside so that'll come on and off as needed these lights here i do like they can be individually powered off so if it gets a little too bright in here you can knock you know one two of them out or whatever and everything will be fine but for what they need it they, they need it as much light as possible so the solar panel we got it mounted up uh, it's very thin sheet metal uh, it wasn't going to really in our opinion not going to hold you know a lot so we added some three quarter inch plywood five by seven squares went went to lowe's got some a little better hardware stainless steel with the locking nuts and just mounted it like that so it's a bigger footprint everything's tied in to this part here um got a few other got a couple other things that we can add to this but we'll do that another time we're just trying to give a general idea to what this uh kit includes so let's talk about this switch here for the reverse lights um we said both of them I mean both side and back is on that's just the back well when the trailer is in motion turn that off right well how does how do we prevent from when this is on and put both of these on how do we pre prevent the the truck from turning on as well well we got these couple of things here they're called diodes and the way this this works is the silver band basically the the arrow right so the direction flows this way so to prevent that back that back feed from lighting up the uh the truck reverse lights we just throw this diode in and it prevents that circuit from going backwards so it can only go this way can't go that way so, same thing how we put this switch up it turns both of them on we have a wire bridging from the side lamps to the back lamps with another diode right there so that way there's no back feed and to other parts of the system that doesn't need power at that time so these lights here they're just some basic uh amazon lights so they get pretty they're fairly bright for what they are they're like six inch six or seven inch uh single row leds and all we did was instead of doing the the nut and bolt we just we just made the hole going through the aluminum just a little bit smaller upgraded the bolt a little bit so it can withstand uh making its own its own uh hole basically and we just screwed them in like a set of screws through silicone around the wire see through silicone around uh the bolt holes and these ones they they light up they light up a pretty good bit of area for for what we need so we'll talk a little bit more about this the little boxes here uh this was once a shelf that looks that looked exactly like that uh we took that shelf out and enclosed it 
this one here was part of that shelf. So it kind of looks like that. So we added a wall to match how everything else looks and put a little latch over here. But yeah, that's about uh, that's about everything. Made a little casing around the battery so it doesn't move through transport. Yeah. Here at Blue Collar Customs, this is what we do. Not only do we do trailers, but we also do all upfitting and service on golf carts, ATVs, and side-by-sides. Blue Collar Customs, down here in Myrtle Beach. Get with us. We bust our knuckles so you don't have to. <laughs>